put body shaming to shame. <laughs> bend, 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 bend. I got broads in London. So real talk. That's what this is called. I'm gonna do some segments of this. It's just gonna be different subjects that I wanna talk about that I think are important or funny or just whatever. This real talk, I wanna talk about the whole big Lady Gaga body shaming everything. So for those of you that don't know, during the Super Bowl halftime performance, Lady Gaga had a outfit change and she was in a top with just some little bottoms and she had a little bit of skin, I think. Just a little bit that kind of hung over. I watched it live. My very first thought was, that's actually really cool. I guarantee she looked in the mirror and she thought, okay, I have this little pudge or whatever you want to call it hanging over, but that's fine. Like I'm not perfect and I'm just going to go rock it. And she totally did. She did an amazing job. But instead of everyone focusing on how amazing she did with her performance, they focused on the whole little pouch of skin hanging over. And I kind of wanted to just talk about how sad it is that that's how our world is today. That you watch movies with like Will Ferrell and all these different actors, they take off their shirts and they have not a good body by any means. And everyone thinks it's hilarious. But then if a girl has the tiniest bit of pudge hanging over, it's like disgusting and she should work out more. There were all these Twitter posts that were saying things like that. Like I, I couldn't focus because of her flab and she should really do more crunches and Man, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um, the reason I really wanted to talk about this is because coming from someone who has always struggled with my own body image, I'm, I'm glad that it's being talked about, that a lot of people are putting it in a positive light and the people that were negative about it initially are they're the ones being shamed now um i mean in in high school i i was dating this guy that was pretty awful and i remember him telling me that if i gained any weight that no guy would want me and in that same conversation, I asked him, well, what about when I have kids? And he said, well, I, I would hope that right after you had the kid that you would work out really hard and, and lose all the weight because I wouldn't find you attractive if you gained any weight. So, and this was my senior year, and so here I am working out three times a day trying so hard to keep up this image that I think that I was expected to be and I just I'm so glad that Lady Gaga was the way that she responded she didn't have any shame she just like she instantly just said this is my body and I'm not ashamed of it and nobody's perfect and I just think that that is so important to show the girls today that it's okay and you don't have to be perfect. Don't get me wrong, I think it's important to be healthy. That's super important, but it doesn't mean that you have to be a size zero. After having a baby and, and really struggling with getting back to where I was, and I think it was like the perfect time for, for me personally to 
kind of see this whole thing happen at the Super Bowl because I was really getting down on myself because I thought, you know, like, I mean, I have a lot of family and friends that they just like instantly went right back to their bodies that they had before. And, and here I am like trying <laughs> so hard to work out and eat good and haven't really seen results and so I was really having a hard time with it and so it's really put things in perspective for me that I need to just be happy with myself and it's just sorry to get all you know serious with you guys but I, I do think it is a very serious topic so many girls I mean close close friends of mine and family of mine have they've really struggled with this where they've taken extreme extreme measures that are awful such as bulimia anemia pills like dr like eating nothing and only drinking energy drinks to and going to the gym all the time like i've had close people to me that have gone to these extremes and it's not okay and as more people talk about it the more not only men the, the men that have this perception that how women should be but also like all all the youth of the world and and everyone can start to really see that it's not about what size of clothes or how flat your stomach is or or you know how chiseled your arms are it's it's really like it's about health and it's about you being happy with yourself because that's the most important thing is how you feel about yourself we need to start as as a community to really focus on the positive aspects of things and not all the negative things. I feel like today, in today's world, it's like so everyone is getting offended by every little thing and it's like, and then when it comes to like stuff like this, it's so easy for people to just attack and be little and make someone who does such great things in the world. Lady Gaga does so much for other people and someone that good, people are so quick to jump down and just do everything they can to make her feel this big. I loved all the other responses of women and, and men saying positive things, saying you're amazing, you look amazing, like like, I can't believe people are saying this, and God, I, I think about my son, who's just this little baby, and he has no idea about this kind of hurt and this kind of thing, and he will someday, he'll see it, and hopefully he won't have to experience it personally, but I want to raise him to lift other women up, and, and other, it's not just women, don't get me wrong, like, men go through this too, like, I've had close, close people to me that grew up with some, some really bad bullying and it, and it was a, a boy and because of his weight. I want to raise my son to speak up when people are made fun of and to make the people that in societies I aren't good looking, make them feel beautiful and really sh show them that they are because of because of this and this and this and just I think that, that that's what we should be teaching our youth is to focus on everyone's talents and their positive attributes. Even when I was pregnant because I had this unrealistic image in my mind about how I'm supposed to look, I, it's really sad to say that I didn't enjoy my pregnancy 
as much as I should have. I wasn't taking pictures and I wasn't letting Johnny do a lot of video of me because I just felt like I was fat and I didn't look like how other girls looked when they were pregnant and it's so wrong. People need to enjoy those times in their lives, especially now that I look back, I wish that I would have really enjoyed my, my pregnancy and enjoyed every, every moment of that amazing journey. And I hope that girls, if anyone watches this that is pregnant, that they will learn from that for me. So to everyone else out there, just be kind, show love, compliment each other. If you're thinking something nice about some someone, say it, don't just think it. Stand up for each other. Stand up against all the bullies and let's stand together and, and really put body shaming to shame. <laughs> That's the best way that I can put it. Put body shaming to shame. Love yourself for who you are. You're beautiful. That was a little intense. Just to kind of wrap things up, I'm happy that this happened because it's being talked about a lot more and I hope the world can improve their perspective of body shaming and can really focus on who the person is and not what they look like. Hashtag stop bullying. Hashtag don't be a hater. Hashtag people are mean. <laughs> Hashtag subscribe. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>